This still happens when narcissists have new supply. It may look like the narcissist has moved on. It may look like they just rode off into the sunset and they found their soulmate. And they're so much happier without you. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Because they only pretend to move on. It's just an illusion. It's a deceptive appearance and impression. Which they use to instill false ideas and beliefs inside your head. They know how to coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect. But the reality is that they're still watching you. Even after you think they're gone. Even after you think they've moved on. And it is the reason why you still feel like they're there. Why you still feel like they're around you. Because there's an exchange of energy. They're still thinking about you. You're still on their mind. They're still waiting to see what you're doing. But you don't think about it like that. You don't expect it. Because you assume that now they've found someone else. They're just going to forget about you. Because that's what you would do in that situation. But that's not what they do. They will still be watching you to compare themselves to you. It's a competition to see who is better. And that's all they really care about. They don't really love you. They don't really miss you. It's just in their mind they think that they own you. So they demand and expect you to supply them with your energy and emotions. Because clearly, they're not getting enough from their new supply. They're not satisfied. And when they're watching you, they really think that you're still theirs. They really see it as though you belong to them. But they're doing this behind the scenes. They're not doing it out in the open. So they may even be lying to their new supply. They may be hiding it from them. But even if they're not, they're still lying to you. So that entire relationship revolves around a lie. It revolves around a false impression. And even a little white lie is a red flag. Even if it's about something small or important. But they're keeping big lies. Either from you or their new supply. Which becomes the fabrication of their new relationship. It's nothing more than an invention. A piece of fiction that they have created inside their minds. Because they're not considering what they're doing to you. And how it's affecting the other aspects of their lives. Because if someone lies early on. They're going to lie later on. If they lie to someone else they're going to lie to you. It's only a matter of time because it's in their nature. It's who they are as a person. If they can do it to someone else. They can do it to you. But yet you give them the benefit of the doubt. You accept them as honest and deserving of trust. Even though you feel uncertainty and hesitation. Because if you catch a person in a lie. You cannot trust them. You cannot have any belief in their reliability, truth or ability. You cannot have any confidence in them. Because their new relationship doesn't have a foundation. It's based around you. It revolves around you. It revolves around a lie. And if they've lied before, they're going to lie again. If they're hiding things from you, they're going to be hiding things from the new supply. Because they've already shown you that they lack character. That they lack any distinguishing features. Any mental or moral qualities or personality. But it may seem real. Because they're posting pictures on social media. But they're only doing that to try to make you jealous. And if they're trying to make you jealous. That means they're probably trying to make other people jealous as well. Because they already have it in them. They have the ability to do it. 
the intention to control, capture and defeat you. To possess or contain you because they seek you as an object. An object that they live vicariously through. Because they can't experience their new supply directly. They can only experience them in their imagination for the actions of another person, which is where you come in. And it's why they're posting pictures to try to make you jealous. It's like a second-hand thrill because they don't get any fulfillment from it on their own. They only feel satisfied if someone else is watching, but even then all they're doing is feeding off your energy because again, they're not really satisfied with their new supply. But it may look like they're happy. Just as you may have looked happy when you were with them, while only you knew what was going on behind the scenes, but you looked happy in the pictures. You were smiling, laughing and joking. You looked like you were having fun while at the same time you were being abused and they were directing their attention towards other people they constantly had their eye on someone else because they're never satisfied with anything they have they may want and desire something but once they have it they don't want it anymore they take it for granted they fail to properly appreciate it as a result of over familiarity so by that point, the only satisfaction they get is from getting you to participate in it. By posting pictures on social media and getting you to watch it, because that's what drives the illusion. You are unknowingly supporting it, which is why if you don't see it as anything special or important, the illusion falls apart, and then they may even stop posting pictures because they're not getting anything out of it. You did everything you could to try to get the narcissist to act in an appropriate manner with you. And then they just moved on as though they finally found someone who understands them. Someone who's on the same page. Someone who's the right person for them. Someone who they vibe with. Or at least, that's what they will tell you or show you. Because that's what they want you to think. While you don't actually know what is actually going on with them. All you have is their words or their public acts of engagement. And you're taking that as though it's valid or true. Even though you should know by now that whatever a narcissist tells you, it's usually the opposite. They're just projecting this fantasy onto you, this system of ideals which you are interpreting as the truth. Because you don't realize that they have a hidden motive. There's a reason why they're doing it. There's something such as a need or desire that causes them to act in a certain way. There's this inner drive, impulse and intention which may not seem to have any relevance to you. And yet, at the same time, it seems to revolve around you. Because clearly, they're trying to alter your perception of them. They're trying to give you this mental image or concept. So that you can't decide for yourself what is actually going on. Because in reality, most of what they're doing is just to get you to react. And other than that, it has no other meaning or interpretation. It's just to get under your skin. They're not even interested in this new person, and they may not have any concerns about them. They're just creating this image of them being happy, because they're trying to get one over on you. They know that all you wanted, when you were with them, is a functional relationship. You wanted understanding, a collaboration, teamwork. They already know that it's what you were about. Because that's what you tried to get them to do. So they already know what you want. 
which is why they will reflect that back to you, even though they're not really about it for real. As long as they can convince you that it's real in the moment, that's good enough for them. And you will have noticed this when you were with them, how they always had to have the last word. They always had to have the last say. They always had to have the power of the final decision to show you that you did mess up, you did make a mistake. And they will do whatever it takes to prove that to you, even if they have to be involved with someone who they don't really want to be involved with, someone who isn't even good for them, someone who is bad, and it's a far worse situation than what they had with you. They will still stick with it. So that they can hold this image of winning, of tearing you down. The only purpose that it has is to hurt you. There's no other reason for it. It's not because their new supplier is a wonderful person. Although that is what they will want you to think. There's always another side to them. There's always an alternative scheme. They just want you to think that they found someone. They want you to think that they've moved on. They want you to think that they're a functional normal person because they know that's what you were about. They knew that's what you were trying to be, but then you got tired of them. You realized that they weren't as driven or as motivated as you were, or they always had their eye on someone else. They could never stay focused and driven on trying to establish something with you. But then when they discard you, they're trying to show you that all of these issues you had with them are not a problem for them with someone else. Because they want you to think that it's you. They want you to think that you were the reason why it failed. They want you to hold the emotional baggage because now they've moved on and they may have even got married and had children and they see it as though if they've managed to do that then it must have been you because otherwise it wouldn't have gotten that far with another person. And you see what they're showing to you and you try to explain or justify it with logical reasons when it's not appropriate because you cannot rationalize something that a crazy person is doing. Crazy people get into another situation. They get married and have children. They start a family even while they're mad and foolish. And the other person could be completely unaware of it. But you only have to remember how they treated you. It's a pattern of behavior and that behavior is not going to change. It's just a matter of time. So you should be confident that it's not what it seems to be. It's only intended to deceive you, to get to you, to prove a point to you. They will never be happy. If they did, then they never would have been a narcissist. They never would have treated you that way. They would have revealed their true intentions to you from the very beginning. And you would have known exactly where you stood with them. But they didn't do that. They were always lying and hiding things from you. Because that's just who they are. That's just what they do. They're constantly lying and the lying does not stop with you. You can't just stop believing what they had with you. You have to stop believing everything. Because although they may seem convincing and believable, they do not possess the quality of being someone who you can trust or someone who you can believe in. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash darksurvivor. 
you can book a one on one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.